So welcome to the second foundation project. In this one, we're gonna recreate the navigation that we have on the right here on the foundation site. You can see if I scroll, this navigation sticks here. And you can continue scrolling. And when you are in different sections, you can see that it changed the current page. So we're going to be using the sticky plugin. And also we're going to be using Magellan for this section. That, this, this is a really, really cool effect. And this will, we're going to be using a different foundation plugins. It's going to be a really, really cool project. So let's create this foundation new project. And we're going to be using a website. Let's add something like uh, navigation. And let's add the SURP template. So let's wait until it is finished installing all the dependencies. So we can start working with this project. And you can see that the project is created. So let's add CD into navigation and foundation watch. And this process always takes a while. So let's wait until it finish uh, starting this gulp task. So we can start creating the first files for this project. And you can see that gulp tasks are finished. So let's open this in our editor. And I'm going to use Atom again for the rest of the project. And let's open this SRC. Here on the layouts, you will find the default. And you can see we are printing the body. Let's open the pages, and here we have the index. And this contains everything that we have that we have here. So let's select everything and remove. And here on partials, we're going to create two partials. So let's create a new file called sidebar.html. And another one called maincontent.html. And let's add this into, into the index. First, I'm going to create here an h1 sidebar and copy this and add here a main content. So here on the index, I'm going to add these curly braces and I'm going to add this greater than and I'm going to add sidebar. So we're including the sidebar file here. So let's select this, paste. And let's add the main content also. Save this. And now you can see we have sidebar and main content. So let's create the first classes. So let's add a div class, row, and I'm gonna add an expanded here. So we take the full of the width. And let's open the sidebar. I'm gonna add a div with the class medium tree. Let's add medium three and large two columns and close the div and let's copy this and let's add we have medium three and let's add here medium nine and large ten and close this div so let's save this now you can see we have sidebar and main content so now we have the placeholders for this. In the next video, let's create the content and the menu in this section.